So let's prove this uh, statement about um, k homomorphism in a field extension. If we have an extension, an algebraic extension, L over k, and um, well then any uh, k uh, homomorphism is uh, so sigma let's call it sigma from l to itself is an automorphism that is is a is an isomorphism of l into itself This is the statement. So a couple of remarks, what I mean by these remarks. Uh, so one, k homomorphism means uh, a field homomorphism, which acts as the identity on the field. It's always good to remind this, so homomorphism. So this means a field homomorphism such that sigma uh, restricted to the field. So homomorphism L has a field into itself such that the restriction of L to uh, the field K is the identity over K. So this in other words, if you think about L as a vector space over the field K, uh, this is precisely the condition that uh, says that this sigma is uh, a morphism of vector spaces. So, uh, equivalent way to say this is that sigma is a map. of uh, vector spaces over k, or k vector spaces. And well, the first, the third remark is that if you, so the kernel of a map of ring, of rings, is always an ideal. And since in a, in a field you have either the zero idea or the whole uh, field, as an ideal, homomorphism of fields are always injective. Of course, apart the zero map, but this is okay. So homomorphism of fields, not the zero map, are injective since the kernel is always an idea in a map. In a map of rings. So in particular you see that for sure sigma in our problem is uh, injective. So if we knew that L over k was a finite extension, finite degree, so the dimension of L as a vector space over k is finite, then the statement would be obvious because we have an injective map between two vector spaces of the same dimension. Statement is obvious if uh, L over K has finite degree. But of course, our assumption is only that L over K is, is an algebraic extension. It could be of infinite degree. So here is one way we can use the fact that L over K is algebraic to show that this map sigma has to be uh, surjective and therefore an automorphism. So if since L over K is algebraic, uh, say any element 
alpha in L admits a minimal polynomial f. So what we want to show is that alpha is the image under sigma of some element uh, alpha prime. So we need to show that there exists alpha prime in L such that uh, sigma of alpha is equals to alpha prime. So the question is, uh, the question is yeah, where to find this uh, alpha prime. And the, the claim here is that alpha prime can be is to be found between the roots of f. So the alpha prime will be one of the roots of the minimal polynomial f. And the reason is as follows. Let's denote uh, by uh, R, the set of roots of F in L, the elements in L, in the field L, which are roots of F, which is obviously a finite set. So we have a finite set and um, well sigma is an automorphism sends roots of f into roots of f. So we have sigma of r inside r. And we already know that sigma is in general injective, so in particular it will be so this so let me write this is uh, because sigma uh, preserves roots of f and sigma being injective which we already know so it's injective on a finite set and therefore also subject surjective so we have that sigma of r is equal to r in other words sigma acts as a permutation on the set r and in particular we get uh, what we wanted that there exists alpha prime which would be in r such that sigma of alpha prime is equals to alpha which is what we want to show <laughs>